Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another uh, tips and tricks video um, on the AKA Impact Racing League YouTube channel. I'm Slee G84. We went to the Bristol Motor Speedway this past uh, week in the Impact Race in the AKA Impact Racing League. Um, about three great races. Cup, cup Series is not broadcasted, but so far a great race. Um, we already got a cup syrup in for you. We don't have to type it out like we usually do. Uh, this setup can hit, I uh, believe, 16.7s. Um, Morris Jr., this is his car, so I want to thank him for donating the car, the car for us today. And just give you a quick second screenshot. Out. We're about to go over whatever, uh, whatever thing does and why it needs to be like this. Give you some time to screenshot it. Then we're going to go run a qualifying time and a race time to see what time we can get. All right, so now we're going to start with the shocks. The shocks, uh, the reason they're at fours and the right bump is at five, just kind of set the car off in the rear, give you more turnout. And then because of chatter, if you're at all threes, it's give you some chatter going over the corner, so you want to put it at all four. The front right at 50, so you can get more turn into the corner. Wedge at 49, so you can also get more turn in the corner and turn off. Front springs, 12 and 11. Uh, these springs will get you some turn into the corner. Also, the, all this stuff helps turn in, but the 330 and 390 rear springs helps with the being turn off middle of the corner. Tire pressures, they kind of just do what they do, you know, left sides, uh, low, so you can get more grip to the bottom of the track. Right front tire pressure, turn more, right rear. Don't want to be too loose to come off corners, so that's pretty low. Miscellaneous settings, of course, you always want to start with the uh, highest you can go in the left front chamber and the lowest you can go in the right front chamber, 5 negative 5. This setup is based off a 1435 front sway bar and it has a rear sway bar of 0.750, which a lot of people might find strange, but it does. Left track bar at 1150, right track bar at 1175. Brake bias at 60, so you can brake corner and get more turn in. Grill tape at 35, wheel lock at 11, gives you more adjustability on the car. If it's a little bit too sorted for you, um, bring it down 9, 10 on the wheel lock. Steering offset, keep that at 150. Here's your gears right there. Better get run some qualifying laps. The bear in the 48 car uh, making his one appearance because he said he didn't want to run with us uh, for the fact that he can win on points and did not want to mess up our races, which was thank him. Uh, he said pretty much didn't want to run on points, so he didn't want to take points away uh, from the people who were already, you know, running for points. Uh, which is nice of him. So uh, he'll be back next season in the Elite Series, though, which would be awesome. But we're going to run a qualifying session for you. Let's go. For this car he ran. Jimmy Johnson throwback. Here's what I do have to say, uh, online there's no damage so you can run the wall. So we gotta be careful offline night on the wall. Seven twenty-seven. That is not bad for the first lap. Uh, let's see the AI times. They really don't matter. Um, my honestly might run into some lap cars this session, which kind of sucks. But uh, we'll see, man. We will see. Just posted a Texas setup video, so make sure to go check that out. Also, just go check our right, setup playlist. Has all more setups and my uh, setup videos. Here. Which make sure to go check those out. Of course, all our league races. They're all on there. All on there. All right, Fifteen laps. Hopefully, we don't catch a lap car. Well, I hope we do, but don't want to run into anybody. Miss up the car. Looking for a high six, to be honest with you. This race session. Ooh, that seam will get you, though. Gotta watch out for that seam. That's one thing that sucks. Uh, online, you know, I would usually hit that wall to kind of give me you know, better turn in, but since we're offline, the, uh, cars have a little more, you know, the damage is on, so it's going to hurt us a little more. He's there, I'm a 17 flat. Qualifying. We have sixes now. It's weird. We're in consistent high sixes at the moment. 
Usually the phrases for short tracks in our league is slower is faster, letting off earlier, and getting a great exit is the way you want to go. I'm more a person who dives in there and the brakes. But, uh, get a slow down in the entry. Like right there. Let off gas a lot earlier and get, a, get, in, the, get in the gas a lot earlier. Oof, get that one. We get a five here, it'd be tremendous. Like I said earlier in the Texas video, if you guys um, want to watch your league races, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we upload or restream our sportsmen and super trucks, which is the trucks, of course, and then the Xfinity Series on Tuesday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. They'll end the truck race will end around 10:30, and then on Wednesday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern, we got the Cup Series or the Elite Grand National Series starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. They'll end around 9:30. Ooh, a little soft corner, I'd let off. So the exit, the way I'm exiting the corner really high, I'm kind of, really, kind of getting loose off corner. I want to note that, make sure you exit off the bottom if you can. Now here's the thing about Bristol. Um... As I just botched that turn, wow. Um, running the bottom of the track consistently will hurt your tires a lot more. And running the top will conserve your tires. But you'll be about a tenth slower on the top. Yep, 718 right there. A little bit less than a tenth slower, but nonetheless, running the bottom will be a tenth faster. Well, cannot wait to get door by an AI car. For the ones who know how AI cars drive, they will wreck you any chance they get. What a setup video. We have a, <laughs> a 20 car pile up at Bristol. This is why you really don't like running with AI. It's right here. Can't really get a video and now we got damage on the car. Nonetheless, 642, a very good lap time for Bristol. Probably just type that. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot control what the AIs do. We just had to dodge two big ones. It's worse that we were able to get a lot of clean laps uh, to show you guys what the car can run. Car outside. And a 16.642. Not bad at all. With some damage on the car and see a 20 car pileup. That's what you get in NASCAR 3 for, uh, <laughs> for offline mode. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, like, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We'll be posting these weekly. I had to get caught up on videos. That's why you see the text and Bristol today. Make sure to check it out our races, which uh, will be streamed Dirt Monday, Trucks, and Xfinity on Tuesday, Cup Wednesday. The Spec Series, which is the uh, kind of the minor series for the Impact Racing League, it's on Fridays. Podcast is Saturday. Hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy the video. Bringing, bringing Richmond next week and as always see you guys next time